WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 65, NASDAQ up 59, S&P's up 9. Gold, gold contract down $35.60, trading at $2,319 an ounce. We have silver down a buck twenty-five, twenty-nine dollars one penny an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, seventy-eight dollars eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note, up thirteen ticks, trading one ten twenty-three. The thirty-year up twenty-two ticks at one nineteen twenty-seven. And king dollar, king dollar up five hundred fifty-nine ticks at one hundred five two hundred four euro one hundred seven yen one fifty-seven British pound one twenty-seven to one U.S. dollar. Don't forget, folks, tomorrow morning, you want to go in with Larry, trade live, just go over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the, the featured content. You can be in there. It's 9 to 12, and I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a good trade market tomorrow. My take is we're going downtown, but bottom line, either way, the volatility's out here. That's what it comes down to. We take a look at the, um, uh, we go to the SPY first. We take a look at the SPY. And what you're gonna, I'm gonna go to the dollar next. The so SPY is hanging up at the, the highs, man. You, you're up a buck today, you did 37 million shares. You're at 542.45. Now we go to the dollar. And the dollar, you know, bottom line is that it's been oscillating around the higher range and the lower range. And it's like, okay, are you gonna break down again? And we've been doing this, okay? The first, the first breakdown brings us all the way back to May 3rd. Goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, you know, my take is we're staying up this time, so we'll see where it shakes out. But if that's what we get, that's telling me that we are going to get a correction in the S&Ps as well as the gold. If you get the gold report, I, already, I sent an update out today. Please look at that update. It's an important update, and um, you know, we'll see where this does shake out. But right now, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm real bearish on the metals right now because I think we're going to break down. Uh, and we don't break down, well, hey, listen, I, I hope we don't break down, but the bottom line is that that's where it looks like it's going to me. And if we go do look at that GDX, and I, and I get I get the long-term buys and the whole bit, and I was loving it beyond belief, and guess what? You know, my take is that this GDX wants to break down to like the $30 level, so we'll see where the whole baby shakes out. Bulls, bears, all the above. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And girls.